So I'm in the middle of a dissection here of the intercostal muscles. Those are the muscles between the ribs. There's several layers of them, the external intercostals, the internal intercostals, and the innermost intercostals. Now, I can't show you the innermost intercostals quite yet. However, I can show you the externals and the internals. We have our donor form Anna here, and uh, this is month uh, eight of working with this donor form, and we're down to basically transversus abdominis and the intercostals, those are the only muscles left. The rest of the body is skeletonized. You can see I've made an array here of the external intercostals coming out from between the rib spaces. I sort of bent them back, right? Now there's a beautiful sort of perifascial interface between the the uh, external and internal intercostals that allows there to be differential movement between the fibers going this away, which you can see if you come really close, let's look down here, you can see that the fibers are reaching this way and then the, the externals go uh, the opposite way, right? So if I were to put these back, in fact, I could prove it to you. So you can see these are going this away and these are going this away, right? So we have different fiber directions of the external and the internal. I like to say that the that external intercostals are kind of, if you're standing on the lower rib, you're reaching backwards towards the back. That's the pattern. And then if you're standing on the lower rib and reaching forwards, then that's the internal intercostal pattern. Now, we have 12 ribs, but 11 rib spaces. And there's movement here, right? And we can see it's not perfectly symmetrical. I love that about our bodies, our human forms. We often think that we're supposed to be perfectly balanced from side to side. We're not perfectly balanced from one inch of a rib to the next one inch of a rib. Our bodies are fractal forms of nature and nothing is ex exactly mathematically similar. <laughs> but we were sort of playing with the motion of the ribs here. And we can actually like, do a forced do a forced, um, what we call a forced inhalation. Exhalation. <laughs> Ex forced exhalation, yeah. thank you. And then I let go, do a little rebound. And we can see there's still, even in a fixed form that's been lying on the table for eight months, we still have elasticity in our lungs, in the pleura, in the muscle tissues. And all I'm doing is kind of giving it a little squeeze here, forcing forced exhalation, and then the body inhales, <laughs> right? And so there's something to be said about the, just the sheer mechanics, the design of the form, right, that, that wants to breathe. This is, we're not, we're not uh, doing anything here. I'm just, I'm just compressing the rib cage and letting go. And on the rebound, air is pulling in to the, uh, to the thoracic space. Fascinating and beautiful. But anyway, I hope you'll admire with me these gorgeous forms. Uh, the muscle tissue that's in relationship with it, and the amazing gift that is our capacity to breathe. Thanks, Anna.